Fredericksburg, Virginia, when most folks decorate the exteriors of their houses for Christmas, putting up lights, blow-ups and other figures can be a bit of a chore. For 17-year-old Josh Mattis, a senior at Riverbend High School, working on his family's holiday display and syncing their lights to music has been a pure blessing. That's because doing the work to sync Christmas songs and patriotic favorites took Josh's mind off the real battle he's waging right now, against the leukemia he was diagnosed with in May. It really helps to have something that I, like doing that takes my mind off it all," said the junior reserve officer's training corps leader who has had to put his dream of attending VMI and serving in the military on hold for a bit. It's helped me to keep my spirit up. Josh's mother, Carrie Modis, mentioned how much her son's participation in the family's stunning Christmas display has meant to him when she got in touch about the Christmas lights and decorations being up again this year. I joined the family one recent evening to hear about Josh's determination to beat cancer and eventually follow his dreams, and how much creating a holiday display has helped, except for the frequent visits to the cancer clinic at the VCU Medical Center, and the toll that aggressive chemotherapy takes on him. He'll get three years of treatment, Josh is a typical high school senior, he's intensely patriotic and loves the work he does with the jock, carrying the flag recently with Spot Sylvania's combined jock units in the county's Christmas parade. He wants to further his studies. Carrie and husband Scott Modest note that teachers, administrators and other staffers at Riverbend High have gone out of their way to help Josh make classes, tests and other activities fit with his frequent chemo treatments and the toll they take on him. His school day is often shortened and he has flexibility with tests. Scott Modest described the treatment this way, they basically are waging war on all the cells in his body to get the leukemia. Then they build him back up with blood transfusions and other things to get him well enough for the next bombardment. There are often complications, such as a recent trip to the emergency room because of intense pain caused by some of his medications. Josh said it's tough during and just after the chemotherapy treatments, with nausea and feeling weak his constant companions for stretches, but his family members say he's a trooper, not often complaining. Josh said one thing he does notice is the effect the steroids have on his appetite. I'll get cravings out of nowhere. He said, his father chiming in about the shrimp he just had to have a week or two ago. His grandmother, Rosalie Malloy, notes that she often fixes three egg omelets that disappear quickly, as do the sub sandwiches and double cheeseburgers that Josh's mom says he sometimes requests late in the evening or early in the morning. The family notes that it's not just their oldest son who is fighting this, but the family as a unit. Josh's brother Caleb is 16 and a junior at Riverbend. Most young people getting diagnosed with leukemia are much younger than Josh, said Carrie Modis, but we've found a few other families dealing with it to get and give support. Scott Modis said they greatly appreciate the financial help they get with gas, groceries and more from the Fairy Godmother Project, which assists families facing pediatric cancer. The two parents, who both work for government agencies, are thankful they have good insurance, and that their superiors have been understanding of the extensive amount of time they must spend out of the office to care, for Josh. As for the bill, we reached our insurance deductible a few months into this, but it gets crazy to see the bills submitted go into the hundreds of thousands of dollars, the father said, ask Josh how he copes with it all, and he falls back quickly on one simple phrase he understands a lot more these days, take one day at a time. There are good days and bad days, but it helps to be with friends at school and in Jotk. He said, it makes him feel good when cars queue up out in front of the family's house at 11316 Enchanted Woods Way, just off Gordon Road in Spotsylvania, to see the lights flash to the music they can tune into on their radios. It takes me several hours, to program when and how the lights will blink to the music, said Josh, noting that he gets a real feeling of accomplishment watching the results as the extensive display flashes to the music. It's one of the things that has kept me going, he said. To learn more about Josh Modis's determined battle to beat leukemia, go to his Facebook page, Josh Nukes the